Hello friends, I am Dr. Anubhav Gulati, Consultant Orthopedics, Joint Replacement and Arthroscopic Surgeon at Manipal Hospital, Gurgaon. I have special interest in sports injuries and its management. And today's talk will focus on a very common injury of the knee, which is ACL or anterior cruciate ligament injury. So I'll divide my talk in few four segments. We can understand what are the causes of this injury. Uh, what are the signs and symptoms how do we diagnose this and what is its management so i'll start with the usual cause of injury it's in contact sports like so to understand injuries of acl briefly show you what is acl ligament on this model so acl is an intra-articular structure the intra-articular means it is inside the knee joint and it controls the forward movement of tibia bone or the shin bone and uh, any injury which leads to tear of this ligament will result in abnormal translation or buckling of the knee. So the ligament is attached to the thigh bone at the top inside the knee joint and it courses down and attaches on the tibia bone in the front area. So uh, this is how the ligament is placed inside the knee. So these injuries usually happen by a mechanism which is called pivoting. So if a person's foot is grounded and uh, there is force which is transmitted to, to the knee, it results in impact on this uh, ligament and it usually tears. So this can happen in sports injuries, can happen in road traffic accidents, or even sometimes at home, uh, when someone has a severe fall at home, uh, which can result in severe rotating injury of the knee. So usually the patients will have immediate pain and swelling inside the knee. Sometimes they even say that they heard a pop sound inside the knee. Uh, which is a very diagnostic of an ACL injury and uh, the knee movements are usually painful one finds it difficult to walk and uh, when they come to us they usually have swelling inside the knee it is called heme arthrosis they find it difficult to move and many of the patients have feeling of knee giving way when we examine these patients, they will have effusion or swelling inside the knee. Special test called Lackman test is usually positive in these patients. And once it is suspected that there is ACL ligament injury, we subject these patients to some diagnostic test. The commonest is an X-ray to see any associated bony injury in the knee. And uh, the gold standard test is MRI scan, uh, which helps in finding the uh, the injury, the extent of the injury, the grading of the injury, any associated in other ligament injuries in the knee, any cartilage injury or sometimes even occult or unrevealed bony injuries which are not seen on the x-ray. So once the MRI is positive for ACL tear, we usually grade it into three categories. So the grade one is brain or a minor tear where usually less than 30% of the fibers of the ACL are torn. And the next grading is grade two, uh, where the injury is slightly more severe and about 30 to 50% of the fibers of the tissue are torn. And uh, in the severest grade, there is a, can be a grade three or complete tear of the ACL. So as the grading is there, so the management also relies on, you know, taking, uh, managing them grade by grade. So usually the grade one injury will respond to non-operative regime like uh, giving splints, ice packs, medicines, and a course of physiotherapy later on. Grade two injuries, wherein about 30% of the fibers, more than 30% to 50% are torn. If someone is not into active sports, then sometimes these injuries can be managed conservatively. But if someone is involved in active sports or leads a very active lifestyle, and then uh, many of these injuries also require some kind of uh, surgical intervention. And grade three injuries, as the name says, it is already a complete tear of the ligament. So these injuries usually require uh, a ligament repair or a reconstruction. A brief about the surgical part. So we have two kinds of interventions which are possible. Uh, one is repair of the ligament and the second is reconstruction. Repair means the same ligament is repaired by arthroscopic techniques and reconstruction means that a tissue, piece of tissue is taken from your knee, near your knee and it is converted into a ligament and attached to the places where the original ligament was attached. So these days uh, minimum invasive techniques are available for managing these injuries 
and uh, one can take advantage of these surgical procedures. So to conclude, I would say ACL injuries are very common these days with our uh, active lifestyle and involvement in sports. These injuries happen quite frequently and one should not ignore these injuries. Take immediate consultation and the treatment can be decided based on your grading of the injury. Thank you.